I've had increased histamine response in my body. Never had allergies in my life. That's never been my issue. I've always had gut issues, but I've had rashes. I've had, that was part of the inflammation in my optic nerve, water retention, all of this stuff. And um, my daughter at the dinner table last night, out of the blue goes, ah, oh, my eyes are itching. I'm like, that's histamine. And you know, it can, it's hitting us in different ways that we've never experienced before. Okay. So let's start with histamine, which is the newbie on the block. Okay. <laughs> and then we'll kind of work backwards to what I call, I had the four big disruptors in my wild vegetarian book. And now through the pandemic, we've added the fifth one. So what is histamine? Histamine is usually thought of as allergy eyes, much like your daughter's runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, uh, maybe a little bit of congestion in the lungs. But histamine itself is an excitatory neurotransmitter. So histamine is sort of like epinephrine and it can be serotonin if you have serotonin syndrome. It's in the neurotransmitter family. And the clinical literature suggests that the spike protein has can turn on the histamine receptor gene. Now, why is that significant? Well, because the histamine receptor gene also then intersects with sulfur, which is another one of my big four. Sulfur and histamine are very linked in the phase one liver detoxification pathways, which is how you detoxify toxins. Uh, binders, biofilm, how you detoxify pharmaceuticals, how you detoxify your birth control pills, how do you detoxify that anesthesia, even steroids, even IVs, even stem cell <laughs> treatments, which are inflammatory. So histamine is a really, really big deal because now through our research, we have noted to the weight gain Histamine is dislodging insulin. Insulin is the fat storage hormone. Insulin can also cause uh, the, the girth here, and it's, but it's really driven by histamine. Also new to the game is histamine turns off the receptor to the LDL uh, cholesterol. Mm. So people's cholesterol is way high and statins aren't helping it. So why is cholesterol relevant in weight gain? Well, it's a hormone precursor and it's fat soluble. So it's the backbone of hormones. And if you're not making your cholesterol appropriately, it's gonna once again dislodge insulin indirectly. So histamine can make you gain weight. Histamine can dislodge your, uh, your cholesterol Histamine can also cause massive anxiety. Histamine has been tied to panic attacks, tachycardia. It's been tied to heart inflammation. Actually, the beautiful Dr. Bruce Lipton and I had a conversation a couple of months ago on histamine and the inflammation of the heart. Mm. And he, he shared with me, Terry, you're one of the few people that understands this mm. and you apply it, you apply it clinically. And so it's insidious. And so I'm saying we should all be thinking about what is our best antihistamine. I love quercetin with bromelain. It's a mast cell stabilizer. It's a natural antihistamine. If you have a DAO enzyme variance, which you can find out from your genetics, the DAO enzyme is phenomenal. Sometimes chromalin, which you can take nasochrom, which is a mast cell stabilizer and that's over-the-counter oral chromalin is um, prescription. You would have to talk to your doctor about that. Many people I'm seeing take catodophen, which is another antihistamine. And the histamine has to do with estrogen. So the more histamine you have, the more estrogen you have, and the more estrogen you have, then your ovaries start getting involved, and that can then hit candida because estrogen feeds on candida. And candida feeds on estrogen. And now you've got oxalates involved because oxalates uh, are the piece that uh, another big disruptor that feeds candida, that feeds cysts, ovarian cysts, breast cysts. It also is tied to heart disease, which then when you've got that histamine 
crossover, they're all layered. So histamine, sulfur, oxalates, layered. And then the big one is the amyloids, which is the ones that are flipping on those, uh, potentially flipping on those viruses. Okay, real quick before you go on, cholesterol. And I've seen blood tests where people are like, my cholesterol out of nowhere, nothing's changed, has shot through the roof. Is this affecting only LDL or is it HDL, LDL, VLDL? Is it overall increase? It's affecting L, it's affecting LDL, it's affecting uh, VLDL, it's affecting the lipoprotein structure. Okay. okay. So it's affecting in any many ways. And another adjunct to the amyloid piece and the spike protein piece is iron. I consider iron part of the fat metabolism impairment.